Hi, I'm Bren Antrim, one of the librarians here at the Santa Monica College Library. Today I'm going to be showing you how to find print books from the Santa Monica College Library for a specific fairy tale. In order to get to the library, mouse over Student Support and click on Library. Once there, there are multiple things on this page that you can explore at your leisure, um, but I want to point out two things. One is Ask a Librarian. This is 24-7 chat library assistance. When the SMC library is open, you'll speak with one of your SMC librarians. Otherwise, you'll talk to a librarian from a college or university within our consortium. If they are unable to answer your question, if it is too local, for example, they will send us what's called a ticket. And the next time we are open, we will get back to you via email based on that ticket. The other thing I want to show you is OneSearch, and OneSearch is our general entry search for everything. So say um, I could start my search looking for Grimm's fairy tales, or I could look for a specific fairy tale. So say I'm interested in the ugly duckling. Notice I'm not using the, I'm not capitalizing, the computer doesn't care. I hit enter to search that out. And I get over a thousand results. So what I want to do is I want to narrow it down. And the first thing I want to do is figure out what collection it's in. And by that I mean it could be absolutely everything. It could be only those things that are accessed online. It could be textbooks your instructor has brought in and put on reserve for you to use in the library. Or it could be books and videos that we own. So I'm going to click on books and videos on library shelves and research it. Now this is a bit of a misnomer because we do get some things that are online. So be aware when you do that that some things will be online, some things will be available in print. If they have a call number, which is like an address for the book, then they are in print. So I still want to narrow this down just a little bit more. Say my instructor has said, you need to find a book at the library. My brain recognizes that as it must be in print. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say, first off, what is its format? 22 of these are books. So I'm going to say, give me only books. And then I notice some of them are still online. So if I'm um, doing a distance ed class and I can't come into the library, I can check those out. But if I want something that I can take home with me in print, I can click held by the library for its availability. And that cuts it down just a wee bit. And I can say, OK, what is the location? All of these are in the stacks. And stacks is just a library word for you can check it out and take it home. So I'm not going to bother with that limiter because they all go in that category. But I also take a look at this and I'm seeing plays and I'm seeing stuff about Chinese politics. Um, so I'm going to go here to subject. And I'm going to say of all of these different topics, essays and anthologies and banking and China, I want to actually look at fairy tales. I apply that filter and in just a few steps I've gone from over a thousand to two. Both of these are available to check out and take home. If I were looking for something that I wanted to use in an essay, I would first examine the title. In this case, Hans Christian Andersen, The Complete Fairy Tales, with a translator. So this tells me it's probably the text of the fairy tales. I look at the second one, and it's annotated classic fairy tales. This author is not Andersen, it's Maria Tatar, written down as the editor, added commentary, and translator. So if I'm looking for information about the fairy tale as well as, as well as the fairy tale itself, this would be a better book to choose. When I click on that title, it will pop up a little thing that tells me more about it. It will say, OK, it is available in the main library, which is the library on the main campus. It is available in stacks, so I can check it out to take it home. And this call number is kind of like the address for the book. If you think of it as an address for a house, this first part is like the street. PN is literature. The second part is the specific house. F is for the title. A is, oddly enough, for the author. So if I go to the PN 6000s, I'm going to find a lot of stuff on fairy tales. 
But if I go to PN 6071, and then on the next line, I go A through Z and I find F15, that's going to be this specific book. That's helpful for if your book is checked out, you can go to that first letter number combination, and that's the subject. And anything else we have on that topic, even if your specific book is checked out, we might have something useful in that area. So it's a good way to browse and find other information. Then it gives me information about the book, and it explores historical origins, cultural complexities, and psychological effects on children, and it includes The Ugly Duckling. So this has literary criticism and cultural context and critique that could be very helpful if I'm writing an essay about the meanings of this fairy tale. In order to get out of this, I click that and it brings me back to my results. When you come into the library, you can get help at the reference desk, which is just beyond the general purpose computers at the front of the library, and we will help you find the P's. Or if you're feeling intrepid and independent, when you come in, you can go upstairs, and the P's section is at the very back of the second floor, to north, and it's on the west side. So if you go to the second stairs, and you go up the stairs and all the way to the back of the building, you'll find the PNs. If you have any questions, please talk to a librarian or ask a librarian, either in person or via Ask a Librarian. Good luck with your research.